Hello, welcome IEYC to your second PE live lesson with me, Mr. Pincott. I hope you are all well, I hope you are all safe, and I hope you're all ready to get very, very sweaty. Before we get started, thank you so much to everyone that has sent me videos and photos of you doing your activity. I loved every single one of them. Make sure you set, take some more photos and videos again today, upload them to Tapestry, and, and then I can have a look at them. So I'm gonna look at them after I've done this live lessons today. I'm gonna go onto Tapestry and then see all of your hard work, and I'm gonna love it. So today, we are gonna be getting very, very sweaty again. We are going to have lots of energy. So grab the people from home, mummies, daddies, aunties, and get them involved with you. This is gonna be a fun one today. So we're gonna start with our warm up, everyone. Let me just move this camera a little bit lower. There we go. All right, so we're starting with our warm up. We're gonna start by sitting down, just to start with. So on your bones. Feet out in front, and all we're gonna do is have our hands out, and we're gonna reach and touch our toes. So this is gonna stretch the back of our legs. We do it nice and slowly, especially if you've just woken up. Your body's gonna be sore. We need to make sure that we are nice and free to move with all of our joints and muscles. Let's do three more. Fantastic. This time you're gonna put your legs out a little bit farther out to the sides. Have your hands in the middle of your legs. You're gonna reach out as far as you can and you're gonna walk your hands over one side of your leg and hold it. For five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to walk your hands, reaching as far as you can over the other side and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Come back to the middle. And then you're going to try and reach both your hands out, keeping your legs straight, touching your toes. Excellent. Now, bring your legs together and from the side so you can see. You're going to lie down on your back. You're going to put your feet flat on the ground and you're going to push your bum off the ground and you're just going to hold this position. We're going to hold it for another 10 more seconds. And this is going to stretch the back of our legs and our glute muscles, which is where our bum is. It's also going to help our lower back. So push up as high as you can, squeezing that muscle in the back of your legs. If it's too hard, you can put your hands underneath your bum and push it up. Or you can leave your hands out to the sides. Five more seconds. And done. Fantastic. All right, now, up onto one knee. This time we're gonna get our upper body moving. So, can't balance this one. So, what we're gonna do, hands out in front, arms out to the sides, and back to the middle again. Nice and easy. This is gonna warm up our shoulders. It's gonna get our arms ready. It's going to wake us up. Excellent. Good job. Next one we're going to do is we're going to now bend our arms. So here. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go a little bit faster this time. Excellent. And now we're just going to put our head to the side. You're going to put your hand on your head. And you're going to feel the stretch in your neck. Especially if you've been sleeping. 
You need to keep your neck nice and loose. So we're going to warm this up. Excellent. Swap sides. Fantastic. Now, the last little one we need to do is to a secret reception. All of your teachers, all of them, this is their favorite move to do when you have done something fantastic in your classroom. But they will never let you see it, but Mr. Pincock's seen it. And this is what it is, and I want you to copy it, and it's called the teacher's wiggle. So all of your reception teachers, this is what they do, all right? Trust me. Miss Sizer, Miss Sinnott, Miss Chan, all of them, Miss Jews Junior, everyone, all right? So what? The teachers wiggle, you put your hands out to the sides, and you wiggle, 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 and you put your hands to the front, and you go wiggle, 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 and you put your hands on your hips, and you go wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shh, don't tell them. All right, let's get into it. That'll come back to get me another one. So let's do our cardio workout. Remember, we spoke about doing a cardio workout gets our heart pumping faster because the blood needs to travel to our working muscles. That's what keeps us healthy. So we are going to do 30 seconds of exercise. Then we're going to have 30 seconds to rest. And then we're going to do all of the different exercises. We've got four different exercises. So our first exercise is going to be star jumps. Remember, hands by our side, feet together, and we're jumping out. We're going to do 30 seconds of that. Then we're going to do 30 seconds of shuffling, which is like this. So our feet are out in front, our feet together, sorry. And we're going to go forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Swapping each time. Which is going to go forwards and which is going to go backwards. Our third exercise, remember we looked at the squat before. I squat, our feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm pushing my bum down and back up. Down and back up. But this time, to make it a little bit more fun, we're going to go from our feet together, they're going to jump out and squat. So that's number three, it's called the pop squat. And number four exercise, we are gonna be really, really, really pushing ourselves. We're gonna do 10 sprinting seconds, and then we're gonna go all the way to the ground and stand all the way back up again. And we're gonna keep doing it. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on and so forth. So you're going to get very out of breath, everyone. Make sure you have a water bottle. Make sure you've got everyone taking part in the house. Make sure you're pumping some music. And let's get started. Right. Let me have some water. All right, 10 seconds. Are we ready? So, big energy, everyone. Here we go. Let's start sweating. Three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds of star jumps. Now, whilst you're doing this, think about your breathing. You need to breathe whilst you do activity. And we need to pace ourselves. Because if I went really, really fast, I wouldn't be able to go for the full 30 seconds. So, breathing slowly, moving our arms and legs at the same time. Time, good job. Big amounts of rest. Slow your breathing down. Our next one is our shuffles. We're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So feet are staying close to the ground, shuffling forward and backwards. Make it more fun, you can do what Mr. Pingot's doing. 
and turn to the side and turn to the front. Keep going. Done. Now, next one is our pop squats. So we're going to jump our feet out, squat down, jump our feet back in, back out. Are we ready? Let's go. Try and focus on going as low as you can. Eight more seconds. Three, two, one. Should have felt that in your legs, guys. And our last one. Oh, this is going to hurt. We're going to go real fast. Again, okay. 10 sprints down up. We're starting in five seconds. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we got more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, down. Woo! That is round one. Second round to go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, star jumps. Trying a little bit faster than they did it the first time. Good work, everyone. Keep moving. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Okay. Shuffles are next. So remember, feet stay close to the ground. We're moving them as fast as we can. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, whilst you're doing this, you should be squeezing your tummy muscles. Squeezing your tummy muscles to keep yourself balanced. Making sure you don't fall over. And also to make sure that you can run really, really fast when we get the chance to go back outside. Time. All right. Pop squats. Working on our legs. All right, starting in three seconds. Two. One, let's go. Excellent, everyone. So, by doing these exercises, when we do get to go back outside, and when we do get to play team sports, we are all going to be fitter and stronger and healthier, which is exactly what we all want. And three, two, one, last one. Now we got through three down ups. Let's see if we can do four this time. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time up. Yes. We did four. That's good job. Okay. Woo. Take some big deep breaths in. Hopefully now. You're breathing as hard as Mr. Pincock. So, remember why we're doing this. We do these workouts 
to help our heart get healthier, to help build our muscles to become stronger, so that we can be healthy, to be fitter, sorry. So, make sure you're doing this every day. It's on YouTube, so you can go back and watch these little cardio workouts, and you can do them with your mummies and daddies. Now, our next bit of fitness, we're going to do the animal fitness game. So, we are going to move around like an animal for 20 seconds. And what I want you to do is I've come up with four different animal moves. I want you to show me by taking photos and videos of you doing a different type of animal movement for 20 seconds. And the better the movement, there might be a champion. They might get some prizes. So we are going to do these four animal movements for 20 seconds each. The first animal we're going to do, it has two claws. Gives it all this. It's the crab walk. So we're going to get really low. Now you can see all you need to do at home is you need to make a start point and a finish point. You can use a t-shirt at each side. You can use a water bottle. You can just do it by the end of the rug or the end of a table and just measure out the distance there. It doesn't need to be. It can be for any distance you like. So I've got two cones. So I'm going to crab walk. So I'm going to go really low. I'm going to put my claws up. And I'm going to crab walk. Ready for 20 seconds? Let's go, everyone. So crab walking, moving your feet, staying really low for the whole time. Keep going. Stay really low. Three, two, one. Time. Next animal movement is going to be our flamingo hop. Flamingos stand on one leg, so they're going to hop on one leg. So we're going to hop on one leg. Ready? So I'm going to put one leg up out to the back. I'm going to put my hands by my sides. I'm going to flamingo hop for 20 seconds. Each time I get to the end, I'm going to switch legs. Using my balance and my core, my muscles in my tummy. Keep going. Three seconds. Done. Now, we're now going to do the turtle shuffle. Now, a turtle, as we all know, moves very slowly. And it moves very close down to the ground. So what you're going to do is you're going to go onto your forearms, this part here, and your toes. And you're going to move forwards and backwards. The turtle shuffle. Ready? Keeping your body close to the ground. You're going to move. Not putting your tummy on the ground. We're turtle shuffling. Good job, everyone. This is a tough one. Done. All right. The last one. Frog jumps. So, our frog jumps, we need to get our hands down between our knees. We're going to touch the ground. We're going to jump forward. To challenge yourself, because I know some of you are so sporty, you can do frog jumps in different directions. So, I'm going to show you. For the full 20 seconds, you can change up the direction you move. So, we go like this. Frog jump. Forward. We can frog jump sideways. Frog jump sideways the other way. We can frog jump backwards. So keep going. I'm going to go sideways. Woo! Three, two, one. Excellent. So I want you to come up with a new animal move, take a video of it, and post it into Tapestry for me to see. And the best one will get it winning prize. Now, they are our fitness elements for the lesson. Next, we need to stretch our bodies to help us grow and to get us nice 
and flexible, which means we're able to move at all of our joints. So it might be our knee joint, our elbow, our hips, our ankles. And one way we can do that is by doing yoga poses. Now, next week, you're going to receive your challenges alongside your live lessons. So you'll have your PE Google Slides coming out on Friday. And they will give you an exercise for each day along with your PE live lesson. So we're going to do some yoga poses today. I'm just going to give you another two. Last time I gave you the cobra and the downward dog. This time it's a superhero theme. So we've got the Wonder Woman and Superman pose and the Spider-Man and, well, you tell me what you think it might be. So our first pose is called the Warrior Two Pose. So you're going to bend one leg with the front here, one leg to the, to the back. You're going to put your arms out to the sides in this position. Focus on pushing your heel down, bending your front knee, and balancing, using your muscles, looking over your front hand like this. This is my Wonder Woman pose. We're going to hold it for another 10 seconds. Whilst you're doing this, I want you to focus on taking really deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent. And from here, now what we're going to do is we're now going to put all of our weight onto this front foot, lift this back leg up, and do the Superman pose. Now this is going to be very tricky because you need to balance on this leg. So keep your muscles really tight and balance like Superman pose. Five more seconds, deep breaths again. Done. Excellent. So, there are some of the yoga poses that you can do at home. Try and find some more yoga poses. I'd love to see some of your work. I know some of you have sent through some brilliant yoga positions, and I've seen them on tapestry already. So, well done. Keep up that great work. Now, our skill for the week to finish off with, we have our catching at the minute. So, to challenge ourselves, we are going to throw the ball up in the air. And I want to see if you can clap before you catch. So, look at this. We're going to do this one. So, we're going to challenge. I'll post my video into your weekly challenges next week. So, you can see how many I do. So, we're going to go like this. Throw, catch, throw, clap, catch. Focusing on looking at the ball, having my hands spread out, focusing on the key points we looked at. If you want to really challenge yourself, you can try and do it in consecutive numbers, which means you've got like this. One clap, two claps, three claps, four claps. Oh, now I can only get to four claps. So make sure you throw the ball up using our two-handed underarm throw. Our hands are catching with our fingers spread out, hands together in front of my chest. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed your PE lesson. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your hard work sent through to me. So you can send it to my email, guys, or you can put it onto Tapestry. Make sure you tag PE at the top so I can find them all after I finish my live lessons with the other year groups today. Well done. Stay healthy. Have a lovely week. And I will see you next week for your live lesson.